Good morning, Gopher Nation. I'm Mr. Dronberger. And I'm Mrs. Peterson. Today is Monday, November 30th, and these are your morning announcements. Let's go for it, shall we? Let's. Don't forget that the GBHS yearbook was still accepting photos of your school year and socially distanced activities. Email this email that's right here with your photos and a brief description. Also, yearbooks are on sale for $90. What a steal. Uh, you can go ahead and get yours by visiting this link. National Honor Society will be offering homework help during White Block on Monday and Thursday. If you are working through something and have a question, please join. There will be breakout rooms for each subject. You can join using the link below. Glenn Bernie Seniors, if you haven't purchased your cap and gown yet, well please do it by visiting the Senior Google Classroom or scanning the code on the screen over here somewhere. If you have any questions, go ahead and message Mrs. Peterson in the Google Classroom. It's that time of year again. Oh, the, the holiday season. Well that, and I think it's time to think about what classes we'll be taking for next year. Oh, jiggly puff, that's right. Well, good thing we have these elective videos to help you, to give you some ideas. to be a YouTuber? Perhaps you felt the urge to recreate your favorite scenes from the latest sci-fi movie. Do you often find yourself adjusting the lighting just right for your Instagram videos? If this is you, my media production class may be just right for you. Hi, my name is Caitlin Peterson and I'm the English department chair and media production teacher at Glenbardi High School. In my course, you will learn the basics of camera operation, and also how to properly light and record audio for each of your film projects. In addition to that, in my course, you'll be taken through each phase of video produ production development. You will start in the pre-production stage, where you will carefully plan each of your scenes and shots for your film project by creating storyboards and screenplays. You will then move on to the production stage, where you will film each scene with careful precision, making sure that you properly light and record audio for each of your shots. You will then move on to the post-production stage. This is where we will learn how to use cutting edge software and technology to properly edit and animate each of our scenes in our film project. After post-production has come to a close, we will then consider how to properly manage our files and promote our films through the use of social media and other internet technologies in a very safe and mindful way. We will visit such pertinent topics as copyright law as well as the YouTube algorithm. Meeting production one and two each run for one semester. Consider enrolling if you have a passion for film. I look forward to seeing all of you in my media production one or two class or even seeing you in AV club. I cannot wait to see what you create. Hey you, what are you doing? Don't just sit there. We need to get you signed up for a music class. You can learn how to play the guitar. Continue for advanced guitar and you'll have the fanciest fingers in gopher land. Guitar not for you? Be like John Legend or Alicia Keys and learn how to play the piano. Of course, if you play an instrument and band is your thing, sign up for band.
Got the golden pipes? I'd love to have you in chorus. Come on in and get ready to be a star. We even have a music technology class where notes appear on the screen as you play them on the piano. Or you can even create your own song. All you have to do is sign up. All music classes fulfill the fine arts requirement for graduation. Or you can use the credit as a general elective. Is music at Glen Burnie High School in your life? Great. If not, sign up today. Hi, I'm Mr. Dromberger, and I'll be teaching the American Film Studies course at Glen Burnie. Studying film is a newer concept, but so is film. I mean, we've only been going to the movies for a little over 100 years now, and along the way, film has captured and helped influence culture. Films are an art form, and like all art, they can make us laugh, cry, teach us a lesson about ourselves and society, and, and they also can help us relate to others. You might be thinking, oh, Mr. Dromberger, well, all you're going to do is watch movies in class. Well, kind of, but, but really we're going to look at film history and how films have developed over time. So when we watch a film, we're not just going to be eating popcorn and having a laugh. It's, it's, it's much like English class and, and when you read a book. That's why our standards align with English. See, everything done in a movie is done for a purpose, and we'll explore that purpose. We'll analyze the structure of films, plot, characters, how they interact, how the scenes are shot to tell the story, because it's all done for a purpose. We're going to start where it all began, the silent movies. Then we'll investigate the rise of the talkies in the 1930s Hollywood era and the golden age of cinema, as it was called. And then we'll go decade through decade dissecting how films have progressed and eventually we're gonna wind up to present day cinema, which is actually kind of a repeat of the blockbuster 1980s era. So, but hey, we'll get into that. I don't wanna give away all, all what we're gonna do, right? So, um, I, and I know, hey, it might be a lot to, to digest, um, but don't worry. Okay, just strap in, and we're gonna have a great year, and I'm really excited to teach you guys. Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Weiss, and I am teaching English elective of newspaper and journalism this semester, and I love teaching this class every year. I'm so excited to welcome students into something that is a really unique opportunity for them to not only learn how to interview other people and present themselves, but also learn how to write an opinion piece and get published, get their name in print, either in our, our student newspaper, The Borough, or make a podcast, or make a video, or write a blog, do something in production, do something um, that they want to propose themselves. That's a unique project that has something to do with telling news stories, telling feature stories, telling people's perspectives. We'll explore many topics that are um, important right now that are being discussed in the world today. We will go over fake news. We will cover journalism ethics, the history of journalism. We will cover as many topics as the students want to absorb. The more they put into this, the more they will get out of this. And I really look forward to meeting everybody. And if I didn't get to see you at Back to School Night, this is just a little presentation for you to kind of understand the type of class that you'll be taking. This will be during 4B, starting Tuesday. Thanks so much, and I am so excited. Take care. Hey, Gopher Nation, this is Mr. Lando talking to you about Theater Arts. So Theater Arts uh, 1, 2, and 3 are all semester-long courses. Uh, they're all ways to talk about theater and learn about theater. Uh, theater 1 is a class where you kind of get to know bits and pieces about lots of different aspects of theater. And as you learn uh, about theater, it helps you express yourself uh, more creatively. Uh, and the bonus part is it counts for half of your arts credits, so if you take Theater Arts 1 in the fall and Theater Arts 2 in the spring, that's all your arts credits already done. So some of the things you can learn about with Theater Arts, uh, stage combat, musical theater choreography, soap operas, radio shows, improvisation, a whole lot more, uh, and it's a really fun opportunity for people to collaborate with some people that you might not otherwise interact with 
uh, during the school day. After completing Theater 1, then Theater 2 and Theater 3 become available. Um, they're both semester-long classes, and just like Theater 1, and they expand on what you've already learned in Theater 1. So Theater 2 is usually musical theater focused, as well as some set and costume design, while Theater 3 is more about directing and producing, and Theater 3 ends up directing and producing some of the Theater 2 and Theater 1 performance-based assignments. So it's a cool kind of cross uh, cross-class collaboration uh, between those three groups. Why should you avoid taking it? You shouldn't. You should take it. Definitely take it. It's a great arts uh, class. It's a it's a fun performance-based class. It's it's not uh, there's not a whole lot of paperwork involved. There's some, but there's not a lot. It's more about performing and showing that you understand things in a creative way. And if you have any questions about this, you can contact me at dlandersnolan at aacps.org. I uh, hope to see you in theater arts. And that's all for this week. Remember, gophers, don't stray from the burrow. Straight from the path. <laughs>